headed to the studio. Final day. The final day. Guys, headed to the studio for the last day. Uh, today's a big vocal day for me. I have uh, 12 songs. 14. To Four <laughs> Sucker. 14 <laughs> songs to do. So I'm going to do 14 songs. And by the way, my name's Rob Bailey. I am a daily vlogger. I'm dailing. I'm going to vlog for 365 days is my commitment. And uh, we're on day 74, Woo! which is kind of crazy. It's kind of a big deal, you know? So, um, yeah, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Full day of singing. Full day. 47 songs. <laughs> right? <laughs> 47 songs. I washed my hoodie today. Yeah. So I got a nice, clean, fresh hoodie on. Oof. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, yesterday's hoodie was a little bit, oof. <laughs> I, make the, I make the room smell like a, uh, like a man. <laughs> it smells like a man in here. So, yeah, a lot of songs today, but I feel good. My voice feels great this morning. Um... And we're gonna we're gonna rip a little bit. I don't need this. No, you don't. It's like it feels like if I was playing the violin. Maybe you should. No, I, no. Okay, well, I know my lane. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, bud. Take my money and go and stay away. Take my money and go and stay away. Take go. Cool. Yeah, Amen. Weed out there, <laughs> fucking kids smoking marijuana. <laughs> Smells like lavender in here. Weed out there and stinky men in there. It's a fucking, it's a cyclone of smells. But I ain't perfect. This is one of those weird songs that Jake snuck onto the album. <laughs> Hallelujah. Also, you don't have the constriction of your shirt anymore either. It's hot in here. <laughs> Sing it on high with your heart to the sky. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But not for. <laughs> Not hard. Five more songs to go. Don't be soft. Be hard. It's hard. Be soft after this. Yeah. Maybe get some frozen yogurt. <laughs> Man, five more songs. All right. My head's starting to hurt. I got a new bag. Get on the fucking ground. I put the money in the fucking bag. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. It's the way that I felt when I had my first kiss. <laughs> Album day wrapped. Woo! Just got back to the house, feeling great. Feeling good too. Yeah? Yeah. We're successful. Accomplished. Accomplished. We did 900,000 songs. <laughs> In three days. Three days. What is that? Is that a raccoon? What is that? Is that a mouse? Sounds like a raccoon. What the hell is that? Shit, I'm scared. You know I don't like don't surprises. What is that? It sounds like it's... Is it rip? What's, what's behind that door? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm here. Where did you come from? <laughs> from Montana. Oh my. So, Dana is here and she just arrived. I actually just picked her up at the airport. No big deal. Um, so I wasn't actually we're actually the whole time. we're actually swapping <laughs> states. We go home tomorrow, back to Montana, and Dana's here visiting family real quick. But I want to share something very excited with you because if you're seeing this video now, that means that the mystery box for Flagner Fail is going to release today. So the concept of the mystery box is we pack about a $200 value into a $600 box. 
We have a lot of like random inventory we have left over, just like old flag and fail stuff or limited sizes or whatever. And then sometimes we print new shirts. But this box, today's box, is really, really exciting because we're doing a throwback to the Warhouse gym. Mm. So I hadn't seen this yet, but we just printed these. So if you order it, you'll get the Warhouse gym hoodie, you'll get the Warhouse gym shirt, and then you'll get a bunch of other stuff. But oh, there's um, like old Warhouse gym t shirts. I know. I, I know. There's a lot of really cool, interesting stuff. And for you guys that don't know what the Warhouse Gym is, I'm going to underlay a video right now of the Warhouse Gym. It was essentially a gym that we ended up purchasing. Um, it's it's a crazy story because when Dan and I first started out, we we didn't have any fucking money. And one of the things I always remember is the hot water heater broke in our house. And we lived in like a little Pennsylvania house and we were sort of stretched. Um it wasn't a very expensive house, but we were like very, very overstretched financially. And the hot water heater went out and we got quoted at $700 to fix. And for all summer, we just showered at the gym twice a day. So Dana would go in and you would shower at the, at the gym. I was, I was designing, so we both had jobs. Um, and it just made it so hard. But every single day we went to World's Gym. And then eventually, whatever it was, five years later, uh, the guy was trying to retire and the gym wasn't doing too well. So we actually bought it, which is a really, really cool thing. And we turned it into the Warhouse Gym, which is the hoodie that she has there. Now, the Warhouse Gym, the little story behind that is um, for three years, it absolutely crushed. Super profitable. We had really, really cool events. Um, and then, unfortunately, well, whatever, fortunately, whatever, however the world works, we ended up moving. We moved across the country. And one of the big things I'm not good at is, um, what am I not good at, babe? Managing. Managing people. Yeah. I'm not good at managing people. So I'm not good at giving it's clear expectations. Like states and states. Yeah, I'm not really good at giving people clear expectations. I'm just like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. You'll just do a great job because if I was doing it, I would do a great job. So when Jake shows up to the studio, Jake has great songs written because I'm like, yeah, you're a fucking pro. That's what you do. And apparently that's not how it works in the gym world because we had manager after manager and I would come back and it would just be trashed and dirty. It was just really, really hard. So we went through manager after manager and they never really seemed to care. And I'm not good at making them care. So uh, the gym sort of started to climb. And then eventually um what happened was the pandemic sort of just kicked our dick in and we ended up having to close it which is fine because seasons end you know when it stops snowing and the snow melts and you come to spring you're not mad at winter because it closed you're just happy that you got to experience it so it's been a really cool uh journey now the reason that we printed no handouts is pretty fucking obvious so on all the Warhouse Gym stuff, like the hoodies and the t-shirts, we printed the no handouts because I think it's just a really, really great reminder that if you don't get your shit together, it's something's going to get taken from you. And I am bummed out we had to close it, but it's because we didn't have our shit together. We weren't good managers and we weren't able to sort of work it. And then when shit hit the fan with the pandemic, you know, it, it went away. We just couldn't afford to keep carrying that note anymore. Um, and it got taken. Not taken, but shut down, closed down forever. And uh, I mean, I always go back to that no handout script and it's just such a good reminder that like, man, nothing's fucking given to you. Anyway, they go up at noon today. We got a couple hundred of them. They're very limited. I'm, I'm thinking they'll probably go out in like 20 minutes, but go get yaws. And then, and then, and then, and then Friday, bury me under the mountain releases, the metal version. <sighs> Boys and girls. Under the mountain, deep in rock, among the gods, proud.